breaking every safety rule that's probably on the books, I placed this whole fence system in the dark of night without any lighting because I had to take the torches off the bridge because well the fences were going where the torches were. And now it's time to get to the underside, which I took the liberty of making a little pathway thing so we could get to the underside here. And uh, yeah, pretty much just clearing out all of this junk, which I would probably be better off using a shovel on. Especially if the shovel can't, ooh, the shovel can break wood. But not near as fast as it breaks dirt, so I think I'm okay. Now, unfortunately, I do have to build a giant pathway going across, like I did before. And this one, hopefully, I can remove without having to build another path underneath. Because, dude, that would just be annoying. I think I'm still much too high to reach this from the water. But I don't see any reason why I shouldn't be able to remove this while walking on it. There's going to be fencing going on the sides, which is going to be what makes the underbridge support. So I'm going to need way more fencing than I have right now. But that's fine. It's not like I don't have enough pine wood that I can turn to sticks. Uh, the thing with fencing is... There's like four different colors of it. And the color is pretty much determined by what material you use in the middle. So essentially all I have to do is use wooden planks in the center to there. And I can make sticks from any wood material. Oh wait, no, I got that backwards. That's horrible. I mean it really isn't, but it means I have to use a lot of wooden planks. Well, it is what it is, you know? It is what it is. This is going to be tricky because I'm already going to end up walking off of that. So you know what? I'm going to set my home on this bridge. So if I fall into the water, as I will likely do... Oh, and I can get this from the water. Nice. I can just do that and get right back up here. Okay, and then... We do this. Now, unfortunately, yeah, I'm gonna need so many fence pieces. Well, let's go ahead and do that. And let's put 10 in each stack here. And do that. Only 40, which is still not going to end up being enough. Because for starters, I just need to run the whole length of the bridge with a fence piece like that. And then at the ends here, it needs to have some kind of bolstering, such as this. This is kind of hard to see what it actually looks like from my vantage point on this dirt. So I may end up jumping into the water actually just to well, that wasn't intentional, but that works. Okay. Should just focus on the one side and then replicate it to the other. Okay, it needs to go lower. Which means... I need to... Well, actually... Let's do this. Because I'm not entirely keen on how these um, fences kind of just sit there. I think it'd be neat if there was something underneath it. So I'm going to go ahead and take some of my cobblestone here. And hope I can reach that point. Yes, I can. Okay. Yeah, we're going to shore up this area here with a bunch of cobblestone and that'll be like the uh, I don't even know what they call that but it's like the pier that's holding up the bulk of the weight of the bridge and we'll just put that 
recessed under the water. Is recessed the right word? Maybe submerged under the water. It's not going to go all the way down. I don't think that matters. No one's going to really... Okay, you're going to notice. However, I don't need bone in the middle. I can save some cobble that way. Because, you know, there's a, there's a big cobble shortage going on in the world. There's not. I have so much cobble, I could waste it all day long. And not have any problems with running out. <coughs> Alright. Um, there we go. Well, this is becoming a little more uh, in-depth than I had planned it to be, but... I guess that's all right. Pylon, that's the word I was looking for. This is the pylon for the bridge. Holds up the bulk of the weight. And just really provides a very sturdy base for it. Kind of makes the uh, defense there look kind of Kind of meh, you know. I'm gonna throw another one there, just so I can put a fence piece on it. And then I'll actually put a few off like that. There we go. And we'll just duplicate that on the other side. Ah. Uh. All right. So now, we're going like that, like that. I don't know, man. How's that looking? I mean, I've seen better. I've seen worse. Worse would be absolutely no under underbody support. So I think that'll do. I think that'll do. So now I just need to build another one. Oh, these are gonna touch. I don't like that. Hmm. two by three. It loses so much character if they all touch. It just looks like a giant chunk of wall then. I'm gonna have to fill the center in now. Oh well, I'm saving so much cobble that it won't matter. <clears throat> Not that it did. Stuck inside of a block. Running low on air. Your air supply is running low. That is a uh, a quote from Lego Rock Raiders. Probably. Oh no, I'm actually out of cobble. And when I say actually, I think I'm like actually, actually out of cobble. Yep, I am. Well, that's alright. Oh, actually, I'll be getting some more. Two more. Is that what I needed? Well, I actually need three more. Well, I could put the mossy cobble underwater. I suppose it's going to turn mossy at some point anyway, just because it's underwater. So... <laughs> So that'll work. And shouldn't be an issue at all. Mm, yeah, let's make another ton of these. 
Or another 40, rather. Alright. Let's see where this gets us. So we have that. This should go bye-bye. And be replaced like that. I have... Oh, I zoomed in with Z. The Z key. Okay. Let's focus on the task at hand. So that comes out there. And then... No. Not there. On that side. And that goes double? Is that how that goes? Yeah, it looks like it. And then it just runs all the way across. And we'll get the pylons on this side in the morning. For right now, though. There we go. All removed. Why is there so much light on the underside of that bridge? It doesn't make sense. I'm going to throw a light there. I don't know why, because it'll be bright in the morning time when I'm working on it anyway. Well, I shall retire to the castle. No, actually, I want to get a nice... This is going to be impossible. I'm going to be bobbing around. Oh, well, hopefully nobody gets too nauseous using this as the ending graphics of the bridge bouncing up and down. So there you go. That's uh, my first attempt at building a bridge. It's not too horrible, honestly. Had it been a wider span, I would have done an archway on top and done some supports going down, but this wasn't really long enough to do that. So, just a simple cantilever bridge. I believe cantilever is the right bridge style. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys around in the next episode.